Hi, my name's Lee Eagles from ACR Systems. In this online demo, we're going to take you through Swift Cost bar features. Uh, in this demo, we're going to cover off um, tabs, some membership details, mix and match, vouchers, reporting options, and a, uh, a bit of a summary on, um, on additional features that uh, Swift Cost offers for bars. Okay, Swift Cost touch for bars. So first of all, let's have a quick overview of, of the screen in front of us. For bars in particular our interest is up here we have a check customer ID. So this is showing us that to be 18 years old you must be born before the 31st of the 10th, 1993. Here shows which operator is logged in, which is me. And over here shows us the, the amount of tables that we have open and the sales that are, are um, yet to be downloaded to the server. We also have a fingerprint reader on Swift Post, uh, Touch on the Panasonic. And if I log out, hold my finger onto the login button, automatically log me into the system. Here I am here. Okay, so now that we've gone through through that, we can uh, we can get started. So first of all, we're going to show SwiftPost running tabs for a bar environment. Uh, also, refer to the restaurant section if you want to get a more in-depth view at um, the table functionality. So to open a tab, we select the table or the tab number we want to start with. A tab. We're presented with a table or tab info box. And here we can set the table as an open limit, so normal. A prepaid limit where the customer prepays funds and when those funds are up the table will stop. Or a preset limit where we actually allocate what we want the table to stop when it gets to. So it's as simple as clicking it here and adding what the limit is here. We can also put the contact name to the table. So we're going to call this the Williams Party. What we can also do is we can actually select the products. We can restrict the products that it can be rung onto this table. So if we come down and we say this is for the ACR function. Only Heineken, Stella, some Church Road Chardonnays and Sauvignon Blancs can be rung onto this table. Anything else the system will not let it. So fantastic for functions, 21st, etc. We can also assign tabs, colours. So if you have multiple tabs in, a in your bar, say over Christmas time, you can actually give them cards or wrist tags and, and they're the blue tab or the red tab, etc. So again, a fantastic uh, feature for functions and venue centres, etc. So we'll save that. And here we have the table, tab 14, it's Williams. And let's ring on some items. So if I ring on a space, the system is not going to let us do that because it's not in the, um, in the ACR function family. But Heineken is, as is Wedges but the bar platter is not. How to split a balance evenly. So we can uh, put the calculators away with Swift Boss. Four guys have been drinking for a while, they've come up, they want to split the balance evenly. So we hit split balance, choose the table, this is the Jones party. We tell the system how many ways we want to split the bill, four. Automatically it comes up and it says that the first balance due is $24.22, remaining balance of $96.90. So we're going to pay for some cash. There's another one. Yes, receipt prints. I'm going to pay for another one. Cash. Yes, there's another bill to be done. 48.45 due. 24.22 is in the sale. Yes, we're going to finish this table. Hundred dollars, and shows us the change and prints out the receipts. As easy as that. Great, right, so we've done tabs. Next we're going to look at the SwiftPOS membership loyalty feature sets at the front end. There is another video uh, posted here with loyalty members, and in that video we show the full breadth of SwiftPOS front end functionality for members, so if you're a membership customer, please be sure to check that out. So first of all we're going to show you how we can actually look up a customer on SwiftPOS. So this is for instance, Sean has forgotten his membership card. He's come in and he still wants to get his points. So what we do is we hit customer, we search for the Sean, S-E-A, on a wild search. All the Sean's come up, that's the Sean that we want there. Now the system presents us with, confirms that it is Sean Williams, he's a platinum member, he has 1,390.28 points, which equals $13.90, he has a current balance owing of $36.35, and we've given Sean a healthy available credit of $15,000. Also, if you enable the customer screen on the uh, JS950, which is a 9-inch rear-facing screen, which you can see that on the Panasonic JS950 video, those details will show to the customer on the other side, so they can see how many points they've got, and they can see 
how many, um, what the value of those points are. In Sophos, we can also restrict the uh, amount of purchases that a member can do in one sale, i.e. points redemption. Another great feature of Swiftpost Touch at the front for members' loyalty is the ability to edit a customer detail. So Sean has come in and informed us that he's changed his phone number. We look him up. We're presented with this edit screen, and we're going to change Sean's home phone number to his new phone number. And we're going to add in Sean's new email address. So managing your customer records can now be easily done at the front. So following on from members and loyalty, we have mix and match and voucher campaign setups. SwiftPost allows us to create any number of mix and match rules. So buy one, get one free. Buy X, get X free. Or volume discounts. And we've set up a volume discount to show you. So what we can do is we have a promo where you buy five Heineken's the, um, the fifth one is free. So Heineken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So some automatically discounts the fifth Heineken on sale. And you can do that, say you have a, a promotion where you're handing out a, a beanie on every, uh, with every five Heineken's purchased. The system will automatically um, issue that free beanie. So some really sophisticated rules that you can do here. And you can restrict these mix and match options to members only as well. So just adding a bit more power to your membership. Another great feature we have in SwiftPost is vouchers. So we'll just go into the terminal settings. And here we can click on vouchers. And we have a bunch of um, sample vouchers here. So let's uh, click on spend 1000, edit it. So this is a voucher. Um, let's spend 1000. We can change this to nano. Okay. And we can change the value that you've got to spend to, to $500. This is a pretty generous campaign, this one. Uh, days that the voucher is going to be valid on. Um, it's going to be valid for 28 days from this date of activation. And there is, we can do a trigger quantity and we can actually say that the, it's valid at these times of the day. And here we create the voucher. So congratulations, you're entitled to a free iPad Nano for being one of our VIP customers. So we hit OK. Anytime someone comes in and spends more than $500 at our establishment on those days, between those times, it will print an automatic vouch for them to redeem the, um, the prize that we've set. Another great advantage of SwapPost Touch for bars is a strong front-end reporting capabilities and also the ability to put the terminal into training mode. Full of nice features uh, inside SwapPost. Uh, booking name. The ability to attribute a name to a sale. So in this instance, we're going to say Dean. Okay, puts Dean at the top of our header. We can ring on items, and if we were to catch that off now, it would print the docket with the drink docket with Dean written on the top. Uh, we can also use that to enter uh, manual table numbers, you know, the old tables on on sticks. Now, what we can do with that sale is we can also hold recall that sale, so we can park the sale away. When we hit hold recall, it will show us all of our park sales. There's the sale there with Dean on it, so we can actually recall that and find that sale easily. Down here is a tick box that says show all clerks. I'm logged in as Lee. These are all the held sales under my name. But if I show show all clerks held sales, if there are any others there, it would show all the held sales for all the clerks, so I could pick up anyone else's sales transaction. Okay. Another nice feature in SwiftPost is the direct wastage button. So if we just catch that off. So what we've done is we've selected these items. Are you sure you want to mark these items as wasted? Yes. It immediately puts them to a zero sale value and sends them through to the wastage reports into the back office. So that, what that means is it doesn't affect your, your end of day totals um, and it provides you a concise report to report on exactly what has been wasted for the day at a zero sales value and it keeps all your stock and inventory in line as well. Another great feature of SwiftPost Touch, which we've often been asked for in, in the, with the Quest system, is the ability to enable a training mode. So I'll just go to the section where we enable this. Okay. So a yellow screen means that the system is in training mode. And in training mode we can ring on any amount of sales. We 
Chinese operators and none of these sales will go to the back office. All the dockets will print out with um, Chinese mode and bold on them and no kitchen printing or anything will, will occur so there'll be no confusion in the kitchen. A great tool for uh, tra training your new staff. Okay, so we've seen a nice um, presentation of Swift Boss Touch for a bar environment. There are a swag of additional features for bars that um, we can show you at any time down at the ACR Pol Zone at 16 to 20 New North Road. Um, just also like to mention that uh, the bar terminal we recommend is the Panasonic JS950, uh, extremely robust terminal, built for bar environments, built to get wet, etc. And uh, you can expect a very long uh, life of ownership and a low cost of ownership out of this terminal. To note as well, uh, FPOS integration with SwiftPOS, we integrate to a number of different FPOS terminals. And we also integrate to CCTV as well. So thanks very much for watching. And again, if you're interested in getting a personal presentation um, centered around your business, come down to the pod zone and uh, we'll be happy to give you a presentation.